Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to COD Zombies HQ, where it's finally time that Treyarch has revealed some more details on the new round-based zombies map that they're releasing next week, where Vanguard Zombies launched in a pretty depressing state with not a lot of detail, and staple zombies features like any kind of Easter eggs whatsoever totally missing from the game itself. Treyarch has recognized that apparent lack of depth and are hoping to fix it with this map release, but that doesn't mean that things are all fine and dandy and you can expect this to be the best map ever because there are still a few things in here that are kind of concerning starting with and let's just get this out of the way the game mode itself this will be the very first ever round based zombies map released in the new call of duty iw8 engine treyarch has said publicly that they've had to recreate this game mode from the ground up made it from scratch which means that at its core expect the game mode itself not just the map to have some problems on release so keeping that in mind let's take a look at the new specific map details for Shinonuma Reborn right after this message from today's sponsor. The sponsor of this video is of course Raid Shadow Legends where Raid is currently running a special Delena chase event where you can get your hands on the amazing Delena. Delena is one of the strongest support champions in the entire game and all you have to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and July 20th a ways away and you'll get Delena for free. There's also a ton happening in Raid this month with a new event called Path of Light where you'll be able to explore 3 branching paths to get the reward you want most. On top of that, there's some awesome champions coming out and a set of skins for the amazing Trunja Gilmal. Check out the link in the description or scan my QR code on screen now to get a special package of in-game goodies worth 30 bucks right now. For all new players, enter the promo code MYDELENA and get 50 XP brews to instantly get your legendary hero Delena to max level 50. Thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Let's look at some actual pictures of the map itself. Now, if you guys remember that Shinonuma released as its own standalone environment for Daron Fang when Vanguard Zombies released, and I think you can all join me in saying that this map probably has the worst lighting out of any Zombies map ever released. You can't see a thing. Everything looks way darker than it should be. It does not look great. Well, now here in Shinonuma Reborn, as you can see, the map is still set at night time, but the amount of darkness has definitely been toned down a bit. You can actually see colors in the environment. The trees and grass actually stand out a bit. There's a little bit more color in the map, where before, in the original version in Vanguard, everything was basically just a dark shade of brown. So within these images, Treyarch show us the main building, the storage room, and the fishing hut from the original Shinonuma map. But if you remember, when they originally announced this project, they talked about how it would also be expanded from the original Shinonuma as well, and that's what we can see in this picture here, where they've obviously added new areas to the map itself. My guess that this area and similar ones like it will be connecting some of the outside branches from the original map, right? Connecting places like the storage hut and the comm room together from the outside, meaning you don't have to go back into the main building to travel to one main area of the map to the other, which will definitely change up the flow of the Shinonuma map itself, which to be honest, could only be a good thing as great as remasters have been in the past everyone is still looking for something new and, and adding new areas to old maps is definitely the best way for them to freshen it up a little next of course Treyarch will be adding the second quote-unquote main Easter egg to COD Vanguard since they made if you guys remember the really sad attempt at a main quest back in the map Terra Maledicta which was hardly an Easter egg at all well Treyarch says that this map will have a more traditional multi-step quest culminating in a devastating battle so it will likely have a main boss fight unlike the other main easter egg and that completing this main easter egg will reward you with a calling card beyond that they also do say that there will be side easter eggs on this map and that if Treyarch kind of follows the same ideas for creating round based zombies maps in this map that they did back in cold war zombies while the main easter egg will be super easy to figure out it'll be solved with probably within the first hour of the map actually releasing the hunt for the side easter eggs is where the sense of mystery and discovery will actually come from in this new round based zombies meta that Treyarch now holds to when making round based zombies maps next pretty much everything about this map is Treyarch kind of acknowledging their mistakes with the original version of vanguard zombies and amongst those mistakes was the total lack of a zombie staple 
that being wall buys. Weapons you can buy off the wall that will be there in the same place every single game instead of exclusively relying off of drops or the mystery box wall buys will be returning here in Shinonuma Reborn, where just like in a feature Treyarch introduced in the latter half of Cold War Zombies, starting at round 6, wall buys will have a chance to increase in pack-a-punch level every round all the way up to level 3 and higher rounds, making purchasing wall buys actually pretty useful in order to get a new pack-a-punched weapon midway through a zombies game. Beyond that, Treyarch is also writing another wrong from Daron Fang and Vanguard Zombies launch, where the level 1 pack-a-punch price was increased for some reason to 7500 points, well, in this map, they're reverting that change, bringing level 1 PAP back down to the traditional 5,000 points in order to pack a punch for the first time. And back in Daron Fang and in Terra Maledicta, there was absolutely no regular zombies traps or anything placed on any of those maps. Well, Treyarch aims to fix that here in Shinonuma Reborn, with the return of fast travel in the form of Shinonuma Zipline System, which I'm not sure if it'll be just like the original or if it'll be expanded in this version of the map. And of course, it marks the return of the the Flogger and other Electroshock defenses. But while Daron Fang at launch was heavily criticized, and rightly so, for its extreme lack of depth, the only real new thing they implemented into Zombies was the Covenant system, which allowed you to get some specific benefits from the Altar of Covenants within the game. That was probably one of the most interesting parts of Vanguard before this point, and now they're adding that feature to a round-based Zombies map, as it will be present here in Shinonuma Reborn, where they did revealed that unlike in Daron Fang where you get one sacrificial heart per objective completed, for the round base mode one sacrificial heart is awarded every three rounds and the Altar of Covenant inventory refreshes every three rounds as well. So in Treyarch's mind the time it takes for one objective completion will take around three rounds in the round base mode. Treyarch has not commented at all if a traditional perk system will be returning with this map, right? So you drink the perk once and you get all of its effects. If you remember in Vanguard, you constantly had to drink perks to upgrade. My guess would be that they're going to keep the perk system from Vanguard's initial release, where you constantly have to buy them again to upgrade the perks in game every time, where in a round base scenario might be a little bit less annoying than it was back in Daron Fang and Terra Melodicta, where you only had access to all of the perks when you basically weren't doing an objective, when you were back in the hub world. Whereas in a round based map in Shinonuma Reborn, you can go anywhere at any time, meaning you can get perks anytime you wish. Now, the other thing that I really expected Treyarch to mention here, and hey, it still might be on the map in some form, with Daron Fang, we saw Treyarch focus on a mode that was exclusively objective based, which pretty much everybody agrees degrees wasn't exactly all that interesting. But I would argue that the best feature from Cold War Zombies bar none, was the introduction of the Trials Machine into round-based Zombies maps, giving players the choice to do specific objectives within a round-based map to receive a reward. I really expected Treyarch to implement some kind of similar system into this round-based Zombies map. They have a good assortment of objective types that are already in the game, as they were featured in Terra Maledicta and Daron Fang, adding them as optional objectives for you to initiate, just like the Trials Machine in Black Ops Cold War would add a whole lot more replayability to this map just as it did back in Cold War. I'm crossing my fingers hoping that's a feature of this map that they just haven't talked about yet. This map pretty much marks the largest pivot Treyarch has ever done, basically acknowledging that the changes they made to the core of zombies in Daron Fang and Terra Maledicta wasn't probably the right thing to do at the time, and it will be very interesting to see how Treyarch's totally made-from-scratch new version of a round-based game mode will play like on the new Call of Duty engine, which was recently revealed will be used for every single new COD game going forward. This is a massive deal, hopefully it plays really well, and helps redeem the mess of a launch that was Vanguard Zombie. But guys, that does wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, if you're excited for Shinonuma Reborn, let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments. And hey, consider leaving a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because more specific information on this map is coming out in a few days, and I can't wait to talk about it. But until that time comes, I want to thank you again for watching, and I'll see you with another Zombies News video very soon. Peace!